good evening. You're watching News 9 Live. I'm Shweta Kothari. Here are the top stories we're tracking at this hour. The Nifty index closed above 26,000 mark for the first time today, driven by strong performances in the energy, metal and media sectors. The Sensex gained 256 points, finishing above the 85,100 mark. Key Nifty gainers included Power Grid Corporation, NTPC, Access Bank, Grassim Industries and Bajaj Finser, while LTI Mine Tree, Tech Mahindra, Tata Consumers, Tata Motors and Titan Company were among the top losers. And gold rallied to another record high of $2,670 per troy ounce today after an unexpected drop in the U.S. consumer confidence data on Tuesday, increasing bets of more aggressive easing and deeper interest rate cuts from the Federal Reserve. Lower interest rates are positive for gold as they reduce the opportunity cost of holding the non-interest paying asset, making it more attractive to investors. Hyundai Motors India secured market regulator SEBI's approval for its $3 billion IPO after the company filed draft papers in June this year. The IPO will be India's biggest ever issue, beating LIC's $2.7 billion listing in 2022. In June, the auto giant filed draft red herring prospectors with SEBI targeting a valuation of $18 to $20 billion. Budget carrier SpiceJet aims to take off with its expansion plans, eyeing additional 75 aircraft over the next two years through recently concluded 3,000 crore rupees QIP. Now, CEO Sanjay Ajay Singh emphasized that decision to raise this amount was driven by airlines' robust expansion strategy designed to increase the current fleet of 25 to 28 aircraft to 100 within two years. India's defence production hit a record high of 1.27 lakh crore rupees in 23-24 with the country exporting military hardware to over 90 nations. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh announced today the milestone aligns with the 10th anniversary of Make in India programme under the NDA government.